Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to go over Edit Mesh Cut Faces Tool. So first, let's set up a little bit of a scene. Let's go to Create Polygon Primitives Cube. I'll just create a cube real quick. And then we'll go to Edit Mesh Cut Faces Tool. And let's go into the options. I'll go to Edit Reset Settings. So these are our Cut Faces tool options here. We have cut direction, several different options. Then we have a couple check boxes for delete cut faces or extract cut faces. And if we have extract cut faces turned on, then the extract offset uh, options become available. And by default they're set to 0.5 units in X, Y, and Z. All of these three boxes mean X, Y, and Z respectively. So first Let's just use it as default values. So we have cut direction is interactive. So you click for cut line. And down here our three buttons are close on the right, which is closes the window, like so. Let's go back. Or enter cut tool. Or enter cut tool and close, which means so if I enter cut tool, this window stays open, and I'm now in using the cut tool right now. I can click and drag and cut a line through this cube undo that or I can enter cut tool and close which just closes this window and enters the cut tool I can click and drag you can see I have this gray line that kind of moves and rotates around where I clicked and when I let go it cuts the line through the object undo that so again you just click and wherever you click becomes the rotation point so when I click and drag I can drag this line around until I get it the way I want. If I hold shift, it will snap to orthogonal directions. Like so. And when I let go, it cuts through. This is a really quick, easy way to make edge loops in an object. So it creates new geometry in this cube. So here on the right, in my channel box, I have poly cut one. This is the history object for that cut I made with the cut faces tool. And we have lots of different things in here. Cut plane center X and Y and Z. So this is just the center point for the cut plane. And the way you can see the cut plane is if I select poly cut one and go over here to show manipulator, you'll see I have this movable square tool shape let me hide my grid and this square is the cut plane so Maya is using this plane to determine where this cut happens if I were to move this plane in space you can see how the cut changes location based on where this plane is you can also click this little blue circle to, to activate the rotation control you can rotate this plane as well and that cut will move so wherever this cut intersects the cube, and the, the, while it does have a boundary of this box here, just think of it as being an infinitely large plane, and we're just it's just showing us this little section here so that we can see it visually and control it. So when it says cut plane center XYZ, it's talking about this center position where my move, scale, and rotate tools are, the multi-gizmo and you can just change the position of where that is right here. So if I click and drag with my middle mouse button with one of these channels selected, it will move that plane accordingly. And you can't see it because I don't have show manipulator on. So if I move this plane, if you look on the right in my channel box, you'll see those three values are changing based on the position of the cut plane center point, XYZ values. Okay. So then you have cut plane rotate XYZ, which is, you click this blue circle, you get the red, blue, and green rotation tool handles. You can click and drag these to rotate the cut plane, and you'll see those values change, rotate XYZ for cut plane. So then you have cut plane width. Again, it's just click this scale tool. and you can scale the width of this box, this, uh, this, this visual display of the cut plane 
you can scale it if you wish with cut plane width and height it doesn't really affect the actual line you've cut it mainly just affects the shape of the box that you're using or the uh, square that you're using to visualize the cut plane then we have extract faces extract offset and delete faces you might remember those from our options this is just another way of getting to those same options after applying the cut so before we go into those let's first look at them in the options so I'm going to select my cube again, go to Edit Mesh, Cut Faces Tool, Options. So now let's look at some of the different settings for a Cut Faces Tool. For Cut Direction, Interactive is the default, which is what we just did. Interactive means when I enter the Cut Tool, I have my little arrowhead cursor. I can click and drag and interactively cut wherever I want this cut to be, like so. So let me undo that. Let's choose one of these other three options. If you choose the YZ plane, you'll notice that my buttons down here change. Also, the name of the, the menu changes as well, the window. With interactive turned on, it says Cut Faces Tool. And these buttons are Enter Cut Face Tool and Close or Enter Cut Tool and Close. If I choose one of these YZ, ZX, XY plane options instead, it becomes Cut Faces options, not Tool anymore. Maya specifies that whenever you have something that you can apply to an object and manipulate in real time that's a tool or interactive and when it's no longer interactive it becomes a command and they kind of drop the name tool off of the command so interactive cut faces tool options YZ plane cut faces options so when I choose YZ plane and hit apply you see it cuts the cube right down the middle vertically using the world's Y and Z axis. If I undo that and choose ZX, it does horizontal cut using the ZX axis. Undo that and do XY, and it cuts it ver uh, vertically the other way using the XY axis. And these can be moved and rotated just like the cut faces plane could before with the uh, interactive uh, option turned on. When it comes to how it is initially created, instead of being interactive where you click and drag a line, it just places it in the center of the object using these planes. So if you wanted to quickly cut something in half, instead of having to use the default and enter and kind of line it up and hold shift to make it straight up and down and cut, and even though I held shift, it's based on my camera angle, so if my camera wasn't right on the uh, center point of the cube it wouldn't quite be 100 percent accurate right down the middle but with my let's see yz plane and hit apply i can be assured that it's going right down the middle so let's create a, create a new cube this one's getting kind of cut up delete that create polygon cube So now let's look at delete cut faces and extract cut faces and I'm going to go back to interactive for the cut direction. So let's turn on delete cut faces or check this box, enter cut tool. So if I click and drag, you see now I have this dotted line that's attached to my interactive line. That dotted line is telling you which side of the line will be deleted. So I let go that left side of the line is deleted from the object. Undo that. If I click and drag upwards, you'll notice that the dotted line is going the opposite direction. If I let go. So I click and drag down, dotted line is to the left. Click and drag up, dotted line is to the right. Click and drag left, you'll see dotted line goes up. Click and drag right, dotted line goes down. So that's how you control which side of the cut you are deleting. Same for extracting. If I uncheck delete and turn on extract, you'll see I have my extract offset values are 0.5 for X, Y, and Z. We'll leave those where they are for now. And if I, now here's one thing, make sure you understand. I have not clicked the enter cut tool. I'm still in the cut tool. I've changed these options, but when I click and drag now, it's still set to delete. 
So I have to click the intercut tool button again to apply the new changes I've made to the options before extract cut faces is activated in my scene. So now if I click and drag, I still have that dotted line in the same method as the delete cut faces checkbox. But now when I let go, you'll see that that section of the object is offset from the original and separated. Like so. And again, you can adjust these values. So if I wanted a smaller, if I wanted a smaller gap, I could say 0.1, for instance. Enter cut tool. Click and drag, and you'll see a much smaller gap there. So that's the options here in the cut faces tool options box. Let's close this and go back to our channel box options here. So now now that we know what, what we're doing, we can see that there's extract faces is turned on because that was the last command I, I used. Those are the last options I had set. If I turn that off right now, you'll see that that movement goes away. So if you apply a cut and you have offset on on accident, instead of having to redo the cut, you could just go in over here and turn it off. Or I turn it back on. And if I decide, you know what, that offset's not big enough, I can adjust these values after the fact. So say 0.4 enter and it offsets more. Or if delete faces is turned off, I want it turned on and turn it on and delete those faces altogether. And again you go to the show manipulator and you'll see the cut plane and you can move around and change the position of the cut. Even after it has been offset, you can still move that offset around with the show manipulator tool which is pretty cool so let's go to the attributes hit control A and over here you can see I have a poly cut one tab and, and right here you have all the same options you have your cut plane center XYZ cut plane rotate XYZ cut plane size or scale X and Y no Z obviously for that. Then your checkboxes for delete faces, extract faces, and extract offset. And it works all the same way. So that's essentially the gist of the cut faces tool. It's very handy, it's very quick for creating these little gaps in your object if you need to or to separate an object. And what I find a lot very useful is just adding cuts to something if I don't need it to be perfectly accurate. I can just cut, cut, cut real quick with the uh, cut faces tool. Cut, 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 and just chop it all up. It's pretty fun. So this has been the Maya Tool Belt with the cut faces tool. I hope you learned a little bit. If you have any requests or suggestions for future videos, if I miss something really obvious, something that stands out to you that why didn't I talk about that? <laughs> it could be I just missed it. So just let me know. And thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.